Today, I would like to talk to you about a piece that has been hidden from the public, uh, withheld from the public, and even banned in uh, three different occasions, delaying its first performance for more than 25 years. This piece is the Sonata for Cello Solo by Giorgi Ligeti. Ligeti is one of the most famous and well-known uh, composers of the 20th century. He became really widely known after Stanley Kubrick used his mu music in his movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. I should probably uh, mention, though, that this happened without Ligeti's knowledge or permission, so he uh, actually sued Kubrick for violating his copyright. Now, back to the cello sonata. Uh, Ligeti was a student at the Franz Liszt Academy in Budapest, uh, where he uh, saw a young cellist girl, Anu Svirány, uh, who was a fellow student at the Liszt Ac Academy. Uh, he secretly fell in love with her and uh, decided to write a piece for her uh, as a love letter. Now, uh, when he handed over the piece um, to Virány, uh, she was completely unaware uh, of the reason behind Ligeti's uh, generosity, so she merely thanked him, and, uh, but never performed the piece. So uh, this music would have been lost, but uh, five years later, Dina Vera, who was a leading cellist at the time, commissioned uh, a piece from Ligeti, and Ligeti decided to use uh, this material uh, from the piece uh, he wrote to Virány and uh, that became uh, the first movement of the piece, uh, what we now call the Sonata for Cello Solo, and Ligeti composed uh, a contrasting movement to it uh, for Dina Svera. So uh, this piece, unfortunately, uh, had to be submitted uh, to a committee, because uh, this happened in 1953 and uh, Hungary was under, la, under the rule of a Stalinist regime, and uh, every uh, composition was evaluated by this committee of the Hungarian Composers' Union. Now, unfortunately, uh, this committee decided that the piece was too modern and uh, therefore banned it. So, once more, the cellists and the audience uh, couldn't enjoy this piece of music. Now, um, we fast forward in time. Uh, in uh, 1956, uh, there was an uprising against um, the communist regime in Hungary, and Ligeti fled to the West. There, he became familiar with the contemporaneous composition techniques like 12 tone music, serialism, electroacoustic music, and so on. And Ligeti decided that um, the music he uh, composed previously back in Hungary was uh, of no interest anymore, and he withheld all earlier compositions. So this time it was actually the composer himself who uh, prevented the public from getting to know this piece. 25 years had to pass before Ligeti finally changed his mind. In the early 80s, when modernism was slowly giving, uh, slowly declining and postmodern was, was coming up, uh, Ligeti finally decided that his earlier music could be published. And so uh, there was a new first, per first performance of the cello sonata. Now, I wouldn't like to tell you how successful or unsuccessful this piece has become ever since. Instead, I would like to play it for you, and so you could decide whether you like it or not, because in my opinion, it is not a committee's and neither the composer's job to decide whether a piece should be out there. It's us, the musicians, and the audience's job to listen to it and uh, have an opinion about it. Thank you. 